All we have to do is just share the food now. You can have a look on the boiled dumplings and the potatoes. and salt fish, you know. I'm gonna do some boiled dumplings with it also, so. If you guys like this kind of video and want to see Sean in more of the videos, cause he's good at cooking, I want you guys to comment down below if you guys want us to do this every week. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna prepare the, the boiled dumplings. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what, what I use to make the dumplings. So we use just regular baking flour, white baking flour. For regular, all purpose. All purpose. What? Um. <laughs> it's an all purpose. Don't believe us, it's And then we're gonna use some um, grazed corn cornmeal, powdered cornmeal. So, and then we're gonna just use table salt. So very basic yeah. really basic ingredients yeah so just about every culture in the world have dumpling incorporated in their diets um in jamaica we mostly have boiled dumpling boiled dumpling or fried dumpling so we're gonna show you how to prepare the boiled dumpling yeah i'm gonna boil it for you guys today so if you want your dumplings then to come out nice use this technique and make the dumpling set yes yeah, so i'm gonna use about a pound pound and a half so Flour. So I'm gonna add about one cup. And I'm gonna use <laughs> and I'm gonna use about one cup of the cornmeal. And then roughly one tablespoon of the salt. All right, and then guys. <laughs> we are so happy. We are making so All right, so I'm gonna just leave you here. <laughs> yeah, so you can do your thing. I'm gonna just leave him for doing his thing and then I'll come back. Yeah. Um. Uh, <laughs> no, not, no, 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 just as same one time for cook for people, right? Alright guys, I'll All see right. you soon. Alright, so this is called the kneading of the flour. We're gonna add water to it. When when you're in the process of kneading it, you have to like measure how ten how tender the, the flour is. press on the floor when you're kneading it also. It's very important to give it pressure to it. That's it guys, there's no technique to the amount of water that you apply. Guys, I'm not a professional, right? I'm, I'm just telling you guys how I make my dumplings. Right? So, I don't want you guys making any bad comments. I don't see your guys' comments. Don't say me can cook, in other words. So, as I told you guys in the beginning, I'm gonna have to set the flour. This is the first step of making the dumplings. And as I told you guys, I'm gonna set it for like, five to eight minutes so guys i'm gonna put about half pot half pot of water half pot of water we use oh i forgot to to mention i'm gonna put potato in the in the mix also all right so before we put the the flour in the pot the water has to be really hot boiling level hot 
that's it for the wing down planes for now. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make the preparation of the Jamaican Aki. And um, Nayoka, babe, you can come in again. So we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna prepare the Jamaican Aki. Aki. So, guys, so guys, I'm back. And the Aki looks like this in the tin, but Aki is a fruit, guys. So. The fruit is it's grown on trees in Jamaica and then um, it's usually grown on pots. When it ripens, the pot would open and then that's when you need to... <clears throat> Just like how it looks here. Yeah. You can zoom in. So it's a yellow part of this and it's attached to a black seed. But guys, you guys have to ensure that you um, pick the ackee when it's ripe. If it's yeah, not ripened, it's, it's very important. If it's not ripe, then it might be toxic like it could be yeah. poisonous so you guys have to know how to prepare this meal but this is in a tin um, it's imported from Jamaica so this is already um, up to standards we actually have to assume we're not no, we know sure it's, it's we know it's, yeah. it's grace right good it's quality grace, yeah. here yeah, grace, <laughs> um, but Aki <clears throat> Aki didn't originally it's not native to Jamaica it came from West Africa during the slave trade um, so this is where we got the Aki from and it is very, it's a popular dish since then um, in Jamaica. Also, Aki is a huge part of our economy. About four million dollars in trade. So they ship these these guys to the states and Canada. So we in the diaspora can enjoy, you know, our national dish here while we're abroad. So yes, yeah, so that's what the Aki is. It's a fruit. Oh, I didn't know that much about it. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't actually know that. So when you tourists. Um, visit Jamaica just know most of our food is coming from a rich history um, during slave or slave trade or something yeah, exactly, like that yeah. so so along with the Aki we're gonna put in a few um, seasonings we're gonna use the scotch bonnet pepper onion and then tomatoes green pepper so this is what I use with my preparation. Yeah, if you guys use other seasonings, you guys can comment down below if you guys add different spice or twists to the recipe, but this is what you yes. use. And for the powdered seasonings, I, I use black pepper also with it. Just Do you use salt? Oh no. No, I don't salt. use salt. <laughs> you can tell them why. All right. So the reason why I don't use salt or seasoning salt is because I'll be adding the salt fish to it. Yeah. So if you add salt with salt, that's just gonna Not a good idea. And salt fish is also known as codfish. Yeah. There's tons of salt fish here in Nova Scotia. So Alright, so I'm gonna start with the onion. So guys, I'm gonna use the sweet pepper, we call this sweet pepper in Jamaica. Alright, so guys, normally I use like half. Or some people call it tomato. You don't say no, you can't. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Alright, tomato, tomato, it's the same thing. In Jamaica we call it tomato. Not tomatoes. There's no D in it. Right? Show the spelling right here. See guys, there's no D in it. Alright. bonnet pepper this is not as hot as the peppers in Jamaica but everything I get cut 
everything I get. Right? Like a normal. <laughs> it's just my choice of adding pepper, just for the spice. If you guys like spice, more than welcome to try it. But if you guys don't like spice, don't put it in because it will spoil your, your meals. But yes guys, I, I'm gonna use two pegs of garlic. Alright, so guys, these are the seasonings as I said I'll, I'll be using with the aki. So it's one onion, half of green pepper, one scotch bonnet pepper with two pegs of garlic, garlic, and then two tomatoes, two small tomatoes. All right, so guys, I'm gonna start preparing the salt fish right now. I think Nayaka has some more lessons for you guys on it, or more information, I should say. Yes, guys. So the codfish is a fish that we use in Jamaica often in lots in lots of our meals, and like the aki, it has some history too. So we used to um, trade our codfish with North Atlantic Canada. That's where we're at right now. So in Nova Scotia and Newfoundland, so the slave owners used to trade codfish for rum. So we have a relationship with North Atlantic Canada from way back. Yeah, so I learned that when I came here and somebody, and it's crazy because I'm here in Nova Scotia and I didn't know that a part of our national dish yeah. is influenced by yeah. Nova Scotia. That's crazy. crazy. This is why we use this a lot and the slave owners thought that this was like a very cheap um, protein. So we yeah. had... So codfish is really a dried, the dried salted cod. I guess that makes a lot of sense, right? Because it's if it's distance. traveling along, we're gonna need something that can preserve it, which is salt, right? Mm -hmm. So it's preserved with the salt. So okay. yeah, guys, when you guys enjoy our, our food in Jamaica, just know that it's coming from a far history. Um, I love, I love, I love it though. Yeah, for real. Anyway, guys, bye. I'm gonna leave All Sean right. to do his. Make his magic go. <laughs> All right, so guys, I'm gonna use about half of this in like, in this pot. I'm gonna use half the amount. So I'm gonna boil this for the next five to eight minutes also. Yeah, so guys, I'm just touching back up the floor right now. So you take like a hand-filled portion of it. And you just knead it like flour to make it round. Like the more, the more I do this, I'm spinning it while I'm knead. It's, this is called kneading the flour. Pushing it in. So I'm just gonna put this one here. Really seductive, seductive. dumplings <laughs> in the pot. Even quarter teaspoon salt in the pot also. Let's put them in. So yeah, it's in the pot. We're gonna leave this here to boil about five to eight minutes. Everything is five to eight minutes. And that's why you have to dump it in there always, can't. Let me, let me explain it. No, me explain no, that. No, Yo, them no, salt no, fish no, are no. can't, can't. What? That's why you dump it in there always. You dump it in a can, bad man. I feel you dump it in there. You dump it in there, can't. I feel you dump it in there, friend. Yeah, yeah. man. Free. Night. What would I do when you dump it in a salt fish? Who would do that? Only time you start through this, never see someone. I'm a local and I'm number one, so this. One more, I just start cooking a bad man. Follow up with me in a conversation. One more. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna prepare the potato right now. We're gonna boil these in the same pot as the dumplings are boiling. All you have to do is just peel it. 
all I do is just peel it and cut it in one or three pieces. And you don't want the dumplings overboiled or anything. So I normally put my potatoes in like five minutes in boiling the, the dumplings. And normally guys, once the dumplings are finished boiling, they would normally rise to the top so they would start floating. And that, that indicates when you need to take the dumplings out, or when they're finished. We're gonna use that much oil to prepare the whole thing. So first, I'm going to put the garlic and the pepper in. Mm -hmm. The onions in. The green peppers. Tomatoes. Or tomato. And then the only powdered seasoning that I'll be adding Put one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon. Get that nice flavor in. I can stop cook the codfish now. Or salty. Just gonna use the knife and open. Okay. You guys can do this. You can use the can opener. This is just my technique to open. Don't try this at home, guys. It's really dangerous. The country boy style. And guys, I don't really like the water that comes with the yaki. It makes it taste a little off. To me, I don't really like it. So what I normally do is use the boiling water that I use to boil the, the salt fish. I'm gonna use it to wash out the water that comes in the tin. What I normally do is just strain it out, roughly 10 minutes to boil. Right now it's soft. Add the yaki and salt fish. I just have to mix everything together. So you guys, you just mix this in. This is pretty much it. Then you guys, you get just a rich Jamaican color here. You can see the yellow salt fish, the green peppers, the red tomatoes, red pepper. It's the finished product here. All we have to do is just share the food now. You can have a look on the boiled dumplings and the potatoes. Come babes, I think this is yours. Just prepare this. Yeah. All right, guys. I am so excited. This looks good. This looks really good. So I'll get to taste it. I really like how you make dumplings too. Yeah. So you just kind of add the aki. That's it. Definitely, yeah. Definitely, cool it. Yeah, you have to cool it. Don't burn yourself, but... Because these are really hot right now. You can see the... All right, so how are you finding? I love it. This is actually my favorite meal. Yeah. This is actually my favorite meal by Chan. So, yeah, guys. So if you guys like videos like these, I want you guys to comment down below. If you guys have any extra tips... If you guys have any extra tips or, or any comments about how the food is prepared, please comment down below. And also... Share this video, subscribe because we could make this into a whole series and you'll get to see us together a lot if you guys like this video. So based on the views, the shares, the comments. It's gonna call Ayaso Nice yes. series. So <laughs> it's really depending on, on the reception. Yes, though. so it's based on you guys. We want to give content that you guys enjoy. Yeah. So if you guys enjoy it, let us know so we can turn it into a series and you see us together. Or if you don't like it, just give us suggestions down below. But I like it because I get to, you know, eat <laughs> you guys to eat it. Yeah. So, yes, guys, we, we, we make like five of these videos already. 
So bear in mind, all you guys have to do is just prove that it's a uh, accepting reception. Yes. So maybe 300 likes. Yeah, at least 300, 300 likes. 300 likes and we'll drop, drop the other video. Maybe about um, rice and peas next time. Yeah, or... rice and peas. Everybody know Jamaicans like rice and peas. So we'll show you guys how that's prepared if you guys like this video. So give us 300 likes, comment down below and share this video. Okay guys? I'm gonna eat now, so <laughs> bye.